Welcome to my channel. Uh, this week I have an oil pastel time lapse video for you based on the split complementary color scheme. For creative inspirations and helpful art tips on painting with oils and oil pastels, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to be notified when I post a new video every week. Let's briefly talk about what split complementary colors are and how to identify this color scheme on the color wheel. And in a previous YouTube video, I talked about complementary colors and I will include that video um, link on the screen on the top right corner of the screen so make sure you check check that out because the split complementary color scheme and the complementary color scheme are pretty similar so if you look at this color wheel here a complementary color scheme are colors directly on the opposite sides of the color wheel represented by the black line here and the split complementary are basically you identify one color on one end of the color wheel and on the other end it's not the direct opposite but actually the two colors right next to the uh, the direct opposite as you know indicated by the white lines here so with our example here um, as I will use in my oil pastel painting here I have the red as one of the, my main colors and on the opposite side I will have a blue green like a turquoise color and a yellow green by the way do you want to know who the model is for this painting and if you do stay till the end and I will reveal the reference photo like the complementary colors, the split complementaries also help each other pop, help the colors pop and give you a pretty dramatic color contrast as you will see in this oil pastel demonstration. And with this oil pastel uh, painting, I didn't use any of the solvent wash techniques. So all the materials that I am using are the Sennelier oil pastels and a paper uh, blending stick so like a paper stump and my fingers <laughs> and this is done on a canvas paper so one thing about the canvas paper is that oil pastels would take much 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 longer to dry on uh, canvas paper as opposed to like watercolor paper that's primed with gesso or matte medium so that's one thing to keep in mind of as you can see in this painting, the red is her hair and I also used the red to identify her, her contours and also used it in the shadows. And the two greens, you can see the turquoise, the light blue green in the background and I also bring that to paint the portrait as well. And the yellow green will be her top as well as the little rose bush that you will see I add on later. So again, in this um, oil pastel painting, all I used are the oil pastels and the paper stamp and my fingers to blend. So you definitely do not have to use any solvent or oil to dissolve or, um, or for blending. And by the way, a whole almost an hour tutorial, a full tutorial of this piece is available on my Patreon page if you'd like to check that out. The link is on the screen as well as in the description below. Especially because we are not using any solvent wash technique, the blending and layering is particularly important um, and Sennelier oil pastels given their buttery feel is really perfect for this. So I hope you enjoy this little oil pastel time lapse and if you have any questions please leave them in the comment below and I will get back to them as soon as I can. Look at the lovely texture of the Sennelia oil pastel and as promised here is my reference photo. Do you guess that it would be a self portrait? And if you enjoyed the video please click the like button, subscribe and leave a comment to let me know and I will see you next week. Bye!